Begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to the dwarf near the cannon and choose the chat options on screen. Next, head to the center of Keldegrim. On the west half of the large building, go ahead and speak to the Dwarf Engineer. Next, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Rolad in the eastern building. Head down the ladder nearby and slay the scorpions on the southeast side of the mines. Slay them till you obtain one of the three pages needed. Next, search the minecarts directly south of where you entered the mining area. And you will find the second page. Go ahead and mine some copper just to your east. And do so to obtain a page. That's all three of them. Head back to Rolad and speak to him. Choose the first chat option. Once you obtain the book, read it. Next, head back to the dwarf where you started the quest. Speak to him. Then use a gold bar on him. Head to any furnace and use your gold bar on it. Choose yes. Head directly back to the dwarf. Use the gold cannonball on him. Choose the chat options on screen. If you haven't done so, go ahead and read the book. You should have some base schematics. Speak once again to the Dwarf Engineer in the center of the Caldegrim building. After the conversation, use a gold bar on the anvil in the same room and make sure to click on making a gold helmet. Make your way to the underground pass in White Wolf Mountain. Enter the pub and speak to a dwarf called Korvark. Choose the first chat option. Click on the schematics to solve it. Now, all you have to do is place the three overlapping images on top of the reference. The buttons on the interface will allow you to show and or edit a single or multiple parts. I suggest working on one at a time. Here on screen is a reference to the final solution. You might have to rotate some of them. If you're sure you've gotten it correct, but it doesn't register just yet, go ahead and wiggle an image into place a bit. It isn't exactly the most accurate of puzzles. Once solved, head back to the dwarf where you started the quest. For the last portion, make sure to have at least 15 free inventory spaces. 
Once there, make sure to equip your gold helmet and speak to the dwarf. Choose the first chat option. You will now be blasted into the wall. Do not remove the helmet or you will be booted out. Go ahead and start mining some gold ores. It will lower the level of the monster that you have to fight next. Once you've mined your 15 gold ores, jump through the fire. Then right click the next wall of fire and select talk. Play the monster. Once defeated, speak to the door before you start the quest. And quest complete.